And with a horn in his hand, probably. We are not accustomed to seeing a black musician with a baton in his hand. Black orchestra conductors were about as rare as black quarterbacks. Billy Taylor is about to introduce us to a man who'd like to change that. writing arrangements for musicals or, or being music director for Broadway. So it just comes naturally being able to do many different things. Beautiful emotion, one line, and Jack of so many musical trades is Julius, Julius Williams. He's a gifted young American conductor and composer. He's been commissioned to compose music for major orchestras, ballets, operas, soloists, and chamber groups. Bring it down. Julius has the demanding control and repertoire to be the conductor of a major orchestra. My blackness helps in that, you know, playing in church, <laughs> uh, doing all different types of, of, mu of musical experience, and just the black audience in itself. When you're in front of a, a black audience, um, they don't let you get away with anything. You can't, you can't do anything half. You have to do the best that you can. And I think that has helped me as a conductor because when you get in front of a, a, a symphony orchestra, they, uh, they don't let you um, get up there and just wave your arms. You gotta know what you're doing and you have to do it well. Julius has been doing it well since his New York childhood 35 years ago. As a conductor of Symphony Orchestra, you have to be a resilient person, and you have to be in control and know where you're going. I think my background has helped me in that situation. It has not helped Julius reach his goal. I want a major orchestra. I want, um, I want it to be a common thing to see a black person up in front of a symphony orchestra. Kevin Henderson helps manage Julius Williams' career. It's very easy for a good black conductor to get jobs conducting black music concerts. But you want to limit that because the problem you have is people will only want to offer them that. I don't mind doing a black concert, but if it's just so that they can fill out their, their seats and say, well, we'll bring them in to do a minority concert, then that, that, that doesn't work. him into the academic world was a minority in residence program at the University of Vermont. There are only 1,200 blacks in the whole state of Vermont right now. I used to, I used to joke, and, and it isn't a joke, that there are more black people in my apartment building in Chicago than there are in the state of Vermont. Dean of the School of Allied Health, Larry McCrory. Julius has probably done more for this university in this year than, than um, oh, than any of us had done all this time because he brings not only his expertise, but more importantly, he as a black person brings a presence to this campus so that students have a role model, number one, so that there is a minority presence on the campus, but more importantly, so that our white students on this campus see that black people can be great. University of Vermont President Laddie Corr. He's the quintessence of everything we hope for in this program. He's creative, he's exciting, 
he likes students, he reaches out to the campus community, he brings a flair and an excitement because he's clearly a very promising artist already making his place. artist like Julius Williams, bringing others into this campus community and demonstrating to ourselves that that is and can be a natural part of the landscape is how it's going to work for all of us in this country. I try to go and talk to especially uh, black students how it is to be uh, a professional person, a conductor. <laughs> to instill in them that you can be what you want, but you have to work at it. You work all the time. I mean, it's not, well, let me go out and play and drink a couple of such and such. And such. That's not true. As I walk around, the score is going through my head. I'm trying to remember every single thing. And I'm telling you, the more you know, the less nervous you'll be when you're in front of all these people. This summer, Julius Williams combined his conducting and teaching careers. He took over the direction of the New York State Summer School of Choral Studies, which brings together some of the best young talent in the state. You have some inner city kids, you have some kids from affluent families, you have some kids from middle um, family, but once they get into making music, it all becomes one family. Julius Williams is a Pied Piper. Beyond his natural and considerable talents as a composer and conductor, he's also a born teacher with the gift of inspiring others. Well, you know, it would be nice to have the, you know, the Berlin Philharmonic or the New York Philharmonic or the Philadelphia Orchestra. <laughs> you know, that's always in my mind. I want to um, um, be in front of a major symphony, but no matter how high I go, I still want to work with young people. I think that is, the, is what makes you working with young people and getting them to perform. Because I remember I had people who made me what I am today from being in programs just like this. Um, I wouldn't be here. There wouldn't be any Julius Williams if I was not in a program like this. Everything that has 